You know who else thought keeping God's commandments was bondage? Satan. It utterly blows my mind how many Christians believe this nonsense, that keeping God's commandments is somehow bondage and slavery. Worse yet, they think they are honoring God by having beliefs like this. When in reality, it's utter blasphemy. If you think God's laws are bondage and slavery, you shouldn't concern yourself with Jesus and salvation because you're not going to be in heaven. And I get that doctrine from the Bible, not from the opinions of man. But if you want to wait till Judgment Day to find that out for yourself when it's too late to repent and turn from your wicked, blasphemous statements and beliefs, go right ahead. Nowhere in the Bible does it say God's laws are bondage and slavery. Did Jesus seem like he was under slavery and bondage when he was keeping God's law perfectly? Do you honestly believe that? Psalm 19, the law of the Lord is perfect, reviving the soul. It can't be perfect and bondage at the same time. That doesn't make any sense whatsoever. The New Testament says the same thing, James chapter 1. But the one who looks into the perfect law, the law of liberty and perseveres, being no hearer who forgets but a doer who acts, he will be blessed in his doing. And before someone says, oh, this was a completely different law, it's talking about liberty... Psalm 119, so shall I keep your law continually forever and ever. I will walk at liberty because I seek your precepts. Galatians chapter 5, for freedom Christ has set us free. Stand firm therefore and do not submit again to yoke of slavery. Jesus set you free from sin. He didn't set you free to sin. There's a big difference. And let's ask ourselves a question here. Who is Paul talking to? Gentiles. How could they submit again to a law that they never followed in the first place? When God delivered his people from slavery originally, he gave them the laws, the laws that he says leads to life, i.e. salvation. Were they keeping those laws when they were in slavery? Nope. Sad fact of the matter is they chose not to keep them anyways, which is exactly what people like this are doing. But I digress. Let's read a little further in Galatians 5, just in case you don't believe me. Galatians 5, 19 through 21. Now the works of the flesh are evident. Sexual immorality, impurity, sensuality, idolatry, sorcery, enmity, strife, jealousy, fits of anger, rivalries, dissensions, divisions, enviness, drunkenness, orgies, and things of the like. I warn you, as I warned you before, that those who do such things will not inherit the kingdom of God. Do you think Paul made all this up? Nope, he got it from the Torah. Those pesky little commandments that God gave in the beginning of the Bible that apparently people who have no understanding of the Bible think are bondage now. Be very careful when you're trying to understand Paul's letters. They can very easily seem to say something that they don't if you don't have the proper context and grounding in scripture. In 2 Peter chapter 3, there's a warning for all of you who think that Paul came here to preach that we don't got to keep God's commandments. And count the patience of our Lord as salvation, just as our beloved brother Paul also wrote to you according to the wisdom given to him, as he does in all his letters. When he speaks in them of matters, there are some things that are hard to understand, that the ignorant and unstable twist to their own destruction, as they do the other scriptures. Therefore, beloved, knowing this beforehand, take care that you are not carried away with the error of lawless people, like Satan, and lose your own stability. If you think God's laws are bondage and slavery, well, you've fallen prey to satanic doctrine. Because Satan also believed that God's laws were bondage and slavery, which is exactly why he's continuously taught people that there's no consequences for breaking God's laws, and you don't got to keep those pesky little commandments anymore. Did Satan deceive Eve into keeping the commandments of God? Or did he make her think it was okay to break those commandments and that no consequences would come of it? Seriously, people, same playbook. Satan's using the same playbook, and a lot of you are buying it hook, line, and sinker. If you think God's laws are bondage and slavery still, here's some 
good news for you. You don't have to worry about keeping them because you're not going to be in the kingdom. And that's biblical. That's not my opinion.